Hey YouTube, it's early October and for some reason my grass has a section that has just turned brown. Despite all of the rain we've had, you can tell half of my grass is really nice. But this section over here is turning brown. Now admittedly my sprinkler system doesn't hit this corner of my lot very well, but we had just gotten a ton of rain, um, so I would have expected that this grass would not turn brown. So my guess is I've got some type of grub living under the ground eating my grass, and I'm gonna go ahead and lift up some of this dead patch to see if I can find any to confirm my suspicions. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick one of these brown patches and I'm gonna pull back some of this grass and more than likely we'll find a grub. Actually, here's one already. It's on, even on top of the, the grass. Generally, if you have big patches like I do, you're not gonna have trouble finding the grubs. These guys turn into little beetles. Um, they're the larva of beetles and in the spring or early summer, they will hatch and then fly away. Um, but in the fall, they are uh, underground just eating away on the roots of your grass and if you've got enough of them they can cause a lot of damage. So let's see if we can find one. You can tell this grass just pulls back like there's no root system under there at all. They've chewed through all of this. And right there's one. So this is what they look like. Now this is kind of a small one but they get pretty big and there's a lot of them. They just sit on the ground. They curl up in this little C position and they just chaw down on the roots of your grass and eventually kill it. Now they're here um, fall, spring, and winter, but you really notice the damage mostly in the fall because there's generally not enough rain to support the grass in the spring. Um, even though they're under there chewing on the roots, there's so much water and so much nutrients for the grass that it, it kind of overpowers these guys and um, you won't really notice as many brown spots. So that's why in the fall you tend to notice the brown spots more than in the spring. But the easiest way to take care of them is to buy some type of grub killer and because it's the fall uh, you'll want to buy one that is a 24 hour grub killer. I'll go through the differences between you know what grub killers to use in the spring versus the fall but um, one is more of a preventative that's used in the spring and one is an actual killer uh, which is what I'll be using in the fall. This grass unfortunately is going to have to come out. I'll end up breaking it out and I'm planting new grass. I'll have to reseed a lot of my lawn but hopefully in the springtime this will look nice and nice and green. So let me show you how I kill these guys. So this is the brand of grub killer I picked up. Uh, it was about $25. And most hardware or big box stores like Walmart or Target sell this. Um, if it is early fall, you may be, I have to shop around a little bit because they do tend to run low on stock because everyone is out buying this because they're just now starting to notice that they've got grubs in their lawn. But if you're early fall, it is important to get a grub killer. It doesn't matter the brand probably but it's important to get one that says 24 hour grub killer. The other um, type of grub killer is more of a preventative, something that's used in early spring, sorry, uh, late spring to early summer, and that's just not going to kill them in the fall. So uh, you kind of just wasting your time and money by applying that in the fall. You want to get something like this that says 24 hour grub killer. I'm going to apply this through the grass seed spreader. It's the most common way. I guess if you don't have one, you could probably do it by hand, but I'd definitely wear some safety equipment, some gloves while doing it. Now you want to, after applying this, water your lawn thoroughly. It dissolves in water. This product does. It looks like a little bead. I'll show you in a little bit, but it dissolves in water and that's how it gets into the soil. So uh, you'll want to make sure you water right after applying this. It says it'll kill them in 24 hours. Um, now you can go ahead and plant grass seed like right after applying this. There's grass seed won't be affected by it, but I still like to wait 24 to 48 hours before applying any grass seed, just in case. Um, it will kill other bugs as well. You can see 
It's got pictures of all the other common insects that it'll kill, ants, crickets. Um, so you might notice other bugs around on top of the soil after you apply this as well. This is, uh, this one bag will cover 5,000 square feet. I recommend not just applying this to the areas where you see grub damage. I would, if you see grub damage in your yard, I would apply it to your entire yard because uh, if you've got grubs in one area, you've likely got them in another area. So by applying this, again, we're gonna be killing the grubs, preventing them from hatching in the spring and summer. They will essentially do no more damage to my lawn after I apply this. Let's go ahead. It's got kind of a nasty smell to it. I wouldn't leave it in a garage or a car for too long. You might start to notice it. But uh, with this, as long as you spread it across your lawn and water it, you shouldn't have too much of a smell for very long. Okay, so I'm gonna wanna apply this to my entire yard. Depending on your grass seed spreader, you want, you'll want to stay a little bit away from the edge because you don't want to have this going on to your sidewalk. It will wash down to the sewer and it's just not good for the environment. I want to try to keep it over the lawn as much as possible so that you don't have much overspreading. Immediately after applying the product, I like to go ahead and hit each section of my lawn with about 20 minutes of sprinkler time. If you don't have a sprinkler, you can go ahead and water with the hose, but you really just need to make sure that your lawn is thoroughly watered so that those granules can dissolve and get underground to kill the grubs. I've been watering for about five minutes now, and there are still, you can see still granules are there. So it does take a little bit for them to dissolve. I would keep all your children and pets off the lawn for at least a day or two just to make sure that all those granules are gone. They don't say they're toxic to humans or pets, but I'm sure they are. If they're killing grubs, they're probably not good for us. But after this, I'm going to go ahead and rake up all this old dead grass and replant some grass seed. That brown grass, unfortunately, isn't going to come back even with springtime those roots are gone and at this point it's pretty much just the blanket over the dirt so there's no hope for that I'll probably start reseeding in a couple of days just to let all of this grub killer do its work but it works well so if you've got grub problems definitely recommend some sort of grub killer